Hello guys, Dumush is here and today we're gonna be showing you the new way to play Husker using his new facet in Cindery. Now a lot of people despise and averse this facet. I was one of them. You know, basically what this facet does is it takes 4% of, of your max health. You know, it doesn't matter if you are low HP, if you are high HP, it doesn't matter. It doesn't do current health, it does max health, which is a big problem. This facet basically prevents you from taking Roche, from buying Armlet, you know, from doing the stuff that you normally do as Husker, you know, but there is a punchline to that. You know, you don't Roche, you don't buy Armlet, but instead you buy durable items. Why? Because you already do damage. The damage is already there. This incendiary does do a lot of damage to you, but in return, it does a lot of damage to the enemy, and especially enemies that have a lot of HP, the tanks, you know, because this is a percentage base right there, right, 0.75%, so it doesn't matter if they have a shit ton amount of HP, you are going to slowly burn them down, you know, so this is a very good face it. what do you build on this hero, and how do you play, you completely, you have a new playstyle with this hero, you're not... You don't play this here the way you're used to play. You completely adapt a new playstyle. Like, it's completely different from what you use. Now, you go the normal items, right? You go bracer, you go boots. I was playing against Storm. I think it's important to win your lane, you know, as, you know, it, it doesn't matter what facet you go with Husker. It's very important to win your lane, to stomp your lane, right? And then, you buy more bitmasks right away. You don't go armless. Armlet only makes it harder for you. Armlet is gonna make you more vulnerable because, as I said, the face it takes more damage, takes more HP from you, it does more damage to you. So Armlet, you're not gonna be able to survive with Armlet because the moment you hit, literally two hits, you have lost all your HP. Trust me, I tried it, it's just horrible. You know, you don't wanna go Armlet on this hero. So you basically go Bracer, you know, you go Bracer, you go Boots, and then you go more. Because again, the face it does more damage to you, so you need to survive. The good thing that it also does more damage to the enemy. So, in your behalf, you want to survive. You want to build surviving items. More bit master is gonna help, and then you go Sanj, right? Because Sanj is going to amplify the HP. Not only you get uh, from the more bit master, but also the HP you get from your passive. So Sanj is very important, and then. You go cloak. Why cloak? Because your innate ability, blood magic, your innate ability, blood magic, you don't have mana, right? You you use HP basically. You use HP instead of mana. Now if you have more magic resist, the HP cost is going to decrease. Therefore, you wanna buy a cloak in any match. It doesn't matter if you're even playing against, you know, all physical, get a cloak. You know what I'm saying? Now I was playing against a fair amount of magical heroes, so I went cloak and then i build it to eternal shroud but i build it later you just want to get the basic item you know you just want to get a cloak that's it it has a lot of value for a cheap price 20 percent magic resistance that's a lot homie you don't need more than that and then you build armor that is if you're playing against a lot of physical years uh, wraith king had a lot of physical you know tide hunter third ability is physical marcy is a scary physical hero right and then yeah enchantress is pure she doesn't you know she doesn't do physical so you have storm as well he does physical right he, he hits you a lot right he does both physical and magic so plate mail was really important here uh it really literally just made me survive and i didn't die and one thing about husker uh with this face it uh, when you hit an enemy and then you are about to die just stop hitting the enemy stop hitting the enemy move around if you keep hitting the enemy with this face it's you're literally killing yourself don't do it if you feel you are dying just move around with these durable items you have you are bound to survive you're most likely going to survive to survive if you just back away or move in circles you just back away from the enemy don't you know 1v1 him. you're gonna just die you know so just survive you know, you already build Sanj, Morbid, Cloak, you're building items that's gonna make you survive, just go back, make him overextend to you, and you're most likely going to survive because you're so tanky with these items, you know. And then you go Sanj and Yasha, 
it gives you extra 5% in comparison to Sanj. You know, it gives you extra 5% health and lifesteal, which is nice and also gives you status resist and slow resist. What do you want more than that? And then you go... In this game, I went Shivas because Shivas was really nice. It also amplifies the damage of your burning spear, which is all beautiful. And then uh, this, Vampire Fangs. You always want to get stuff that's gonna make you live. That is what you need. This face it wants to kill you. What do you answer? You answer with survival items. That's what you do. Sand and Yasha Morbid Mask, Vampire Fangs, everything, bro. Cloak, everything. And then Eternal Shroud, Satanic, Aegis, and the game is over. 17, 4, 31. And this is, by the way, a 44 minute game. Slightly long for Husker. This face it especially makes Husker very good in the late game. Why? Because it's percentage based. Any ability or face it that is percentage based always thrives in the late game. So this is a new way to play Husker. You don't get Roche. As you can see, I never got Aegis this entire match. Why? Because I don't die already. Right? And I also cannot take Aegis solo. Right? Because this face it, as I said, kills you. You cannot take Aegis solo. But you don't need it because you survive. You build durability. Uh, durability items survival items you don't need ages you are not going to die and i didn't die pretty much the entire game see my third death was 10 minutes and then i stayed all this time i didn't die i'm just getting kills as you can see getting assists kills and then finally i died here and that was a mistake from my team by the way like if my team acted accordingly i wouldn't have died as you can see i died with satanic See, I had Satanic and died. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't because my team, my Mars just decided to bail on me, you know, instead of ulting and spearing. If he ulted and spear, I could have easily opened my Satanic and just backfired them, turned the tables, we could have won the fight. But instead he left. It is what it is, you know, it is 3k, 4k MMR. But yeah, we then ended the game. Then I took Aegis and then we ended the game. So yeah, this is the build on Husker. So far, I've tried two games with this new facet and new build. I've won the two games. Uh, you know, this is little. You know, the two games are little. They're not uh, accurate for me to make such a video. But I think I'm confident. I'm, I don't think I'm confident. I am confident to share this knowledge and insight. And I think this facet is broke. If you're watching this, make good use of this face it make good use of it exploit it as much as possible they're gonna nerf it there is i don't think i've seen a pro player that have yet explored this face it and it's uh, it's power i don't think i've seen a pro player does it the moment they figure out this face it and its power this hero is gonna get nerfed the face it is going to get nerfed make good use of it don't waste time start earning mmr just go husker Make sure you're not playing against Ancient Apparition or, you know, the heroes that counter Husker. Go this face it, build survivability items, the items I've shown you, and just stomp your games. Stomp the mid lane, win MMR, don't waste time. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.